Good boy. Hey folks, how are you? Joe and Wolfie here. We just met up with Buddy Joel for the first time, Joel Tremblay. And he's got a homemade camper like I do. He actually made his own though. And his is a little bit bigger than mine. We're up somewhere near Elliott Lake. Driving down a back road looking for a spot to camp. We're gonna stay out for a couple days. Got some good food to cook. And I'll show you around Joel's camper. Have a big bonfire. And uh, have a good time. I've stopped three times now for you, Wolfie. To the restroom and you have refused. It's not bad, eh? We could do that. Come say hi to the video. You don't mind, right? No, no, man. Okay. Well, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, too, so. right, right. yeah. All right, guys. Say hi to Joel. Hey, everyone. What's your uh, YouTube channel name? That was just my name, Joel Tremblay. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, what have we decided here? Well, this is definitely option A, uh, but we're going to continue doing some exploring and uh, see if we can get a nice spot for the trucks and trailers. There we go. Yeah. On we go. This is Joel's slick setup. He made himself. We'll check it out later on. All right. See you, Joel. Woo! It's just kind of close to the road here. And we got Wolfie. Like, I got a tie out for him, but it'd be nice to have him off leash and just be able to run around without too much concern. So we'll go check it out. It is Friday. There could be books and people here, who knows. Just saw an otter go down. Nice. Okay, good boy. 
Pretty slick little spot we got here. I'm happy with it. Got my truck nice and tight. Ah, nice and tight. Wolfie's gonna have to sleep under my bed or next to me here, which will be fine. He likes to sleep under my bed at home anyways. Carpet clean and give Wolf something to sleep on. Oh, yeah. I'm you do an intro with you. Yep. <laughs> I don't got a good wide lens on here at all. All right, Joel. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about this baby? Uh, so this is the uh, chuck box, is what I've coined it, um, <laughs> and uh, it's a 5x8 cargo trailer that I outfitted to be, uh, I like to call it the ultimate overlanding uh, ice shack and camper extravaganza. <laughs> um, I kind of designed it to try to do everything, and or I guess kind of be like a Swiss army knife. Um, it's not the best at everything, but at least it kind of does everything I need it to. Um, yeah, uh, it's super insulated, it's got a heater on it, uh, solar off-grid, um, I use this for ice fishing in the winter, I use it for camping in the summer, or I guess four seasons. And you said you can fit your whole family sleeping in there? Yeah, can fit my whole family in here, um, or I can fold everything away and use it as a cargo trailer. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, yeah, I try to make it as versatile as possible because I've owned like RVs or campers before and like six months of the year it's just sits in the driveway and and just takes up space so i tried to build something that you know even if i have to go to the hardware store to buy some materials i can just throw it in here and and at least use it um and yeah it's uh it's on youtube and i mean yeah he's got good views on that on the, his build videos he's got you got build videos yeah yeah i got i got i don't know 30 odd build videos and then a few walk around videos nice. um the walk around video is doing pretty good too um yeah, I mean, honestly, it's like there's more information in those videos than yeah, I can yeah, talk yeah, about course. now. But yeah, it's, oh, it's uh, slick. It, it gets used. It gets used <laughs> a lot. Like I have, I've clocked probably, oh geez, I don't know, uh, I'd say thirty thousand kilometers of this thing. Thanks, man. Um, it's three years old. And single axle is doing fine. Single axle doing fine. That's the stock four-inch drop axle, and I've taken this thing down things that it probably shouldn't have gone. <laughs> um, and yeah, like it gets used. It's not. Uh, you know, the perfect thing, but, uh, and I know the things I would do differently, right? Um, it was a learning experience, and, uh... You did it for a university project? Yeah, I, uh, I guess, I, yeah, I, the whole thing started as, a, as my, um, thesis for my Master of Architecture, and, uh, basically I was, I was looking at researching and exploring how we move and use the land in Northern Ontario, as, uh, believe it or not, 95% of the land in Northern Ontario is Crown land. <laughs> now, not all of it is accessible, but that's that's an insane percentage. Um, so <laughs> yeah. I wanted to build something that basically could get me to those spots and uh, you know basically meet the, the demands of my lifestyle. Yeah. Mush! 
<laughs> Bring up your inner husky bud. Hey, good boy. What do you got? Is that drool? Is that drool hanging from you? Hey, good boy. Dude, sometimes he'll like roll and poop. And like, oh yeah, yeah. Dog. Just come roll up and like come into my like camp bed or whatever. Oh. Thanks. Have we you got sprayed by a skunk yet? What's that? Have you got sprayed by a skunk yet? No. We've had that happen twice last summer. Yo, one summer guy three times. Yeah, and she and I made a mistake of letting her in the house and she's all proud of herself. She's like, I scared that black <laughs> kitty away. I'm like, oh, and then she's like rolling around in our carpet and stuff. <laughs> and like the worst thing to do is to like get them wet, put them in the bath. The, the water brings it up. Which is exactly what I did. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because I didn't know. Yeah, of course, right. And she's like jumping out of the bath, soaking wet, smelling. Dude, we had like, we couldn't even sleep that night. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, man, when it's real bad, it's almost like got this garlicky smell to it too. Yeah. It's, he got it right in the face, right in the mouth. He was so yep. close to it. And he's like foaming and everything. And not, none of those three times were we at home. So we had to put him in the car to get home. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. bad. Yeah. <laughs> My father-in-law, who's a, a character, thought he was going to catch a baby skunk keep for a pet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cold. Sitting here for a minute and try to get warm. I'm pretty cold. Smell all the dust and hair burning off of that thing. <laughs> so we got the buddy heater in here. It's doing really good. The uh, the electric heaters tend to eat up the battery quickly. So the buddy heater on the propane, and then I can use that propane on my stove as well. Wolfie's just gone. He. Uh, we're on a road, like a backcountry road, so he has the whole road to explore, so he's taking advantage of that. And that's fine, but I will tie him up once it gets dark. I'm gonna have to start a fire pretty soon. It's cold out there. I had to come in and get warm. This is doing its job very well. Well, better back, go back out there and be social and try to find my dog. This will be a good setup for both of us. I'm sure he'll like to sleep underneath the bed here. Okay. Oh, hey bud. There he is. Hey, good boy. Woo, woo, woo. You hear him? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I like how like, oh. he's just that husky, you know, just like, it's all like. <laughs> he wants me to pet his ass. That's what yeah. he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, roo, 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 roo. Hey, good boy. Oh, butt scratch. Oh, big boy. <laughs> I swore I would never get a husky, and uh, if he was if he was full husky, it'd probably be still the case. But the shepherd helps. Yeah. See this goofball? <laughs> what are you doing? You like the snow, eh, bud? The whole time I was sitting there. What's that? The whole time I was sitting there. Did you record a single thing? Oh, no. Every time. Every time. 
<laughs> you gotta push the record button. Dude, it's like <laughs> the bane of my existence. It's like I don't check the little red buttons going. <laughs> Problems of being trying to be a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta hit that button, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised there's not more people out here. I, like, it's a Friday. Yeah. I know it's kind of cold, but. Well, because deer season rifle just finished. It's down, yeah. Yeah, that's but, the cost. That's like the big. Yeah. But uh, uh, bow opens now, right? Muzzle loader. Muzzle loader and bow, yep. yeah. And bird and all that are open. Yeah, but yeah. That's not a that's not a driving factor. Yeah. All right, Joel, what do you got working with here, man? Oh my gosh. Uh, take him. This. I'm not a chef, by the way, Rico. So like, I, I don't like this. Is like I don't even, I don't even cook at home. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm making my wife really jealous here. <laughs> Nice, look at that. Butter. What is that? What is on top? Not rosemary. Top. Rosemary, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I can smell it all the way from my camp road. Fancy. You like salad, right? I love salad. Yeah, all right. I was, uh, I'm usually like a meat and potatoes kind of guy, but. I mean, I got the same thing, but. Oh my goodness, thank <laughs> you. Getting freaking spoiled here, bud. Thanks, man. Yeah. Look at that. I hope it's good. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Don't don't tell my wife though. If it's really <laughs> good. If it's really good, like yeah, don't want to keep it eh? keep it a secret. Yeah. Nah, I kind of like cooking at home too. All right. Be nice table. <laughs> oh man, this looks good. Hmm. You can tell me if it's bad too. The salad dressing is fantastic. Just... Be hurt. Did you try it? Yeah, I licked it off my fork. Was... Oh. I know, the oh. same thing happened with mine. <laughs> it's a runaway salad. <laughs> Headlamp heroes. Oh, it's good. Mm. Very good. It's not bad for some boy in North Bay. Mm -hmm. It'll make a turd. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard someone say that before. No. It's an American thing. It'll make a turd. I only heard Americans say it. <laughs> It'll make a turd. Well, we're in the trailer for tonight. It's nice and warm in here. It's probably about negative eight outside Celsius. And here it's nice and toasty. I'll be able to... Sorry about that. Camera keeps dying. I'll be able to lose... Uh, my hat and stuff very soon. We're gonna be going to bed. It's about 9.30, like I said. We got Mr. Wolfie down here just living his best freaking life, loving it under the bed, which is perfect for him. You can fit two or three of him under there with me up on here, so it's a good time. I'm glad I came up and met, met uh, Joel. He's a good guy, uh, fun to be around, so that's always good. All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. Oh. Good morning, folks. It's bright. Oh. <coughs> Slept real good. It's like almost nine, probably. Hey, bud. What'd you get into? What's up with your face? Hey. Hey, dirty boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Well, how'd you fare? Yeah. Pretty good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we burned up all that wood. <laughs> And so some coffee on. Got some double smoked old fashioned bacon from the butcher as well. No peasant breakfast here. 
always end up with shells at home, so let's see what happens here. <laughs> Brand, did you say this? Blackstone. Blackstone, yeah. Pretty sick. I like it. It makes me feel like I'm in like a Japanese restaurant, you know? <laughs> yeah, have, yeah. I just need to learn like the, the tricks. Get your chopstick skills down. The, or... Yeah, and like you, you ever do that when they go like... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. they flip it up and crack the egg on the side of the thing. Yeah. Oh. It's not too bad. Like it's kind of annoying, but I might be getting myself on these things. I like it. It like it comes with an adapter too to run off the little one-pound propane tanks. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, that wouldn't be enough. I don't know. Like I feel like you just burn through it so quickly. Yeah. Forty. Oh, thank you. That's it. Ah, almost a freak. I almost threw my bacon off the ground. Hey. Yep. You have his attention. <laughs> well, yeah, all the time. If I tell him to do something, he throws his head back like that in defiance. That's wild, man. <laughs> Temper tantrum. He's got so much personality. Mm. On point. Oh, almost. Very, very good. We already walked around. We got up and uh, hiked down the road, found a little old trail. No grouse, no birds at all actually, but um, Wolfie had a blast and we had a good time hiking and stuff. And uh, this is our reward. Uh huh. Come here. Come here. Sit. That egg wax is pretty cool, man. I uh, I watched a video on it. I um I'm I'm gonna get it. It's not a gimmick, like a. It looks legit. It is, man. <laughs> I beat the crap out of that thing, and I keep using it. Like I actually really enjoy it. It's like a like a beat more of a beater axe in my opinion, but it is what it is. What's the? Uh, are they available yet? I I uh, no, I don't think yet. Do you know what their price point's gonna be? Man, I don't know. I, yeah. I would assume a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, no, like this saw, like, I I literally would not, will never buy another. No, one. I know. They, they, they've really got the market on the saw. Yeah. The, those guys in Silky, but Silky, it's just two different saws, right? Yeah. They told me they were designing it like five years ago. That? Yeah. Well, that just shows like you know, they truly really test it out. Yeah. They don't rush it. No, those guys are legit. tie up a tripod so we can cook on the Dutch oven. We got a cast iron Dutch oven. Should be lots of fun. I like to tie my piece of paracord to the middle one. Just attach it, a couple overhand knots or a constricting knot, whatever, whatever you feel like. And then 
if all three bottoms are relatively near each other so it'll be flat you can start to wrap it around don't need a lot of paracord I only have like maybe a two and a half foot piece here and then if there's any spots where you think it might be loose just wrap them in the paracord itself on the paracord itself wraps and fraps we call them Get your wraps and you got your fraps. And then I'm just going to tie it off. And we're cooking with firewood. for afternoon's work. Okay, well we've got our tripod made and our food in there, some of it at least, our sausages. We're doing sausages, potatoes, and some veggies in there. We've got four sausages, four, four. Get a little splash of pop in there. I'm gonna pour some taters. Pour them taters. How, how many fish did you catch? Uh, like all of them. <laughs> Stay. What could you possibly want? Okay, our food's almost done. We've got in the magic pot, we have potatoes, carrots, green beans, Brussels sprouts, seasoning, butter, and a little bit of pop. And then underneath that, we have our sausages just finishing off right on the coals so they get a little crispy. Uh, but it is like tender, tender, tender. It's falling apart. I don't even want to touch it anymore because so very soft. So it should be pretty good. Actually, this can probably come off now and sit on the rocks. These guys will flip. Oh yeah. Nice. Whoa, explosion. Okay, well those are done. Sweet. Thanks. Yes, please. Um, from before, but it'll be fine. That's fine. Let me see what it <sighs> He's slowly melting into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I know! <laughs> Okay, good. We've reached the final destination. <laughs> that looks all right. Deadly. I love this freaking cast iron thing. There's so much food. That's a lot of grub. <laughs> I can't remember which plate I was using before. It doesn't matter. Okay. Boy! Look at that. 
cheers at Brussels sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's off. Yeah. Cheers, bud. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, hot. Or very hot. It has a certain taste, like. That's good. I might have picked up some of the sausage taste. Yeah. That is good. Oh, those are mashed potatoes in form. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That seasoning too that you put on there is really good. That's my favorite. It's Lowry's. It's just this red, all small purpose seasoning. Yeah. It, it really makes the dish. Oh. That is good. Good. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Hopefully the sausages are cooked. I'm sure they are. They look the part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be done. I don't suppose you have any mustard. Uh, no, I got that dressing, but. That's all right. That, that's, that's oh, yeah, it has mustard in it, eh? Yeah. I'm like, that's all right. I don't want dressing. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. so you got mustard and mayo and then some <laughs> maple syrup. Which... All those would work. Yeah. Except for the mayo. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, fuck mayo. Mmm. Mmm. They definitely did pick up the sausage taste. It has a very similar. It'll make a turn. <sighs> Wise words. It's nighttime now. Yeah, exactly. Last clip, full sun. Yeah. <laughs> and then just dark. Well, it's about nine o'clock. Call it an early night. Getting a little chilly sitting out there, so I came in. I cranked the buddy heater about ten minutes ago. It's nice and warm in here now. Wolfie is uh, is fine outside for now. We'll do the same as last night. It's just I'm gonna chill out in here for like half hour, and then I'll let him in when I shut off the heater. It was nice and warm last night. Food was good, we made fries after as well, hung out by the fire just talking. It's always different when you hang out with somebody for the first time, right? It's kind of hard to film a lot because you're getting to know each other and things, but um, yeah, good time. Very nice, big bonfire. Lots of good food and a new friend, so it's nice. I am going to uh, get all situated here. headed to bed. We'll see you in the morning. I think we're just getting up and out of here in the morning too, but uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Good night. Pretty good. Wolfie ralphed under my bed. He got into some or some, he got into something yesterday. He was all full of hair and everything, so that's fun. But uh, I'm gonna get up and out of here. It's supposed to come down with snow pretty soon. It's uh, 7:30 now, so I'm gonna break down, break down camp, and uh, I'll wake up Joel. If he's not up already. Oh, stiff.
Same thing as Echo too with your teeth. <laughs> oh yeah, with plays with your f your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Like she she wraps her. I don't yeah. Know what you call them, but the, like the canine. canine tooth yeah. On your finger. And yeah. It pulls. Same exact yeah. thing, dude. And it doesn't bite. No, no. Uh, pulls. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, a dog bit me. <laughs> Well, we are all loaded up, and the snow's coming. Not too strong just yet, but... Everybody say goodbye to Wolfie. Oh. Bye, guys. <laughs> it's us! <laughs> yeah. Thumbnail. Yeah. Oh, it's good to meet up with you, buddy. Yeah, man. We'll have to do it again. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for uh, making the trek. Yeah, well, thanks for having me out. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, you guys will see Joel on the channel again, I'm sure. We had a lot of fun. Wolfie's hanging out, too, so uh, we're going to bail. Well, Joel's got, what, a few hours to drive? Three hours. Three yeah, hours. I got a couple bad. hours, so, yeah, yeah, go home and see the families. Yeah, the next trip will be uh, less luxurious. Ice fishing? Oh, ice fishing might be luxurious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm okay yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah.